Hey guys, I want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas, and I want to thank everybody that has subscribed to the channel. We went over 2,000 subscribers the other day, and it's all because of you guys. I really appreciate what you guys do for the channel. And there was five lucky winners the other day. Congratulations to the five winners. Okay, moving on. I had a request for this. Somebody requested this head-to-head. -head. When I get a request, I always try to honor it. On the left, you get the Craftsman V-Series. On the right, you got the Tecton Ratchet Wrenchers. They're both, they're both double box flex head, long pattern ratchet wrenches. They're both 72 tooth. They're both 12 point box. They're both made in Taiwan. The Craftsman set, the model number is CMMT8. 7410V. It was $152 on Amazon. The Tecton, the Tecton mile number was WRB96201. It was $200. Amazon's got them now. I bought, I bought it off the uh, Tecton website, but now they are on Amazon. This one has no skips. It goes 6 to 19 because it's got different sizes on both ends. Both seven-piece sets. The Craftsman's came with this little tote here, and you can see the sizes on it. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 17, and 19. It skips 15, 16, and 18. The Tecton came with a little wrench rack. Okay, let's dive into this. Hey guys, if you haven't subscribed, think about subscribing. I do a lot of tool reviews, and at the end, end every month, I have giveaways. Here's a 19 against the Tecton. You got the V Series Craftsman on the bottom and the Tecton. Obviously, the Tecton's got that satin chrome finish. The Tecton one is two inches longer. They're both very close as far as the head, the heads go on them. Very close. Let's take a close up of the Craftsman. Craftsman is in the house, the V series. Take a gander. First thing you're going to notice, it's got a really nice high polished chrome. I've been using these for four or five months, so there's going to be some wear and tear on them. ID markings are stamped nice and deep, high visibility. It's got that I beam, ribbed design. Individual part number, which I like to see. That means you could probably buy an individual wrench. They are 12 point, 72 tooth. It's pretty snug that way. It's pretty snug that way. And even if they loosen up, you can probably tighten them. Most of them you can tighten up, but sometimes you got to put a little wobble uh, washer in there and uh, tighten them up. But I have any problems yet. This one's been used quite a bit here. Got some war wounds. Let's put a fastener on here. Let's check the back drag first. For a little back drag. These are broken in. No binding or skipping. Let's put it on a fastener. The meat and potatoes. Pretty snug. Not a lot of play in the mechanism. No binding, no skipping. See if you can hear it. Got the direction arrow. I like to see that on, on a wrench, ratchet wrench. I like to see reverse lever, but that's my top, my top, uh, what I like, but reverse, uh, having the arrows second to that, I guess. A lot of them don't even have that. Pretty snug. No binding, no skipping. And here's why I like these wrenches. You flip it over here, and let's get a close-up of that, uh, Camphor for all those guys out there that are into the loading. I'm trying to get it, get it to focus for you. There you go. If you want to look at that, that's got a, that's got a good amount of camphor on there, I think. All right, let's put a, let's put a uh, fastener on there. This is a six-point box. Wow, that is snug as a bug. In when you're when you live in a salt belt, a six-point box for breaking loose a bolt is your best friend that fits as snug as a bug wow 
Okay. Let's go to the Tecton here. The Tecton's got the satin chrome finish. Either you like it or you don't. I like it. It is stamped. Very deep. High visibility. ID markings are very nice. If you're blind as a bat like I am, you like to see that. Got the individual part number, which you like to see as well. That means you can probably buy them individually. I'm sure you can. Very nice. Let's go to the now. Let's check out this now. How tight is this? Very snug, very snug, both ways. Haven't used it a lot yet. I like that satin chrome. Let me know what you guys think about that. I always get some good input on that. It's got the direction arrow as well as the V-Series had. You like to see that. Back drag on these. Back drag on these is very good as well. I have, I've done reviews on some that are horrible. This one's pretty good as well. I've only used these a month. Keep that in mind. But I had a request for this, so I'm doing it. And these are the brand new ones. I just came out a month ago with them. Fits pretty well. No binding, no skipping. Let's get close to the camera so you can hear it. Flip it over to the other side. Not bad at all. They fit pretty good. They're pretty smooth. I've used the 19 and the 10 on these. I haven't used I don't think I've used any other sizes on those yet. I'll try to do an honest review. Let's just grab one more here. We're going to grab a 10. We got the Tecton on top, the Craftsman V in the bottom. Yes, they're a lot longer. The, uh, the Tecton ones are longer in every size. That can be good or bad. Sometimes it might be too long to get into a spot. I like the length of these, but it's going to come down to preference and what you're working on, basically. I don't know. I just uh, I like tools, guys. A lot, of, a lot of you guys do too, or you wouldn't be here watching it. Okay, let's see how this fits. Pretty snug. Put the camera here so you can hear it. Not bad. Got the direction arrow, like I said with the other one. You can tell this one's been used a lot. Ten is a that's a popular size. I use these on the brake calipers usually. No binding, no skipping. How about the back drag? Back drag's pretty good on these. Both of these sets are pretty good with a back drag. Very little. I've had some cheap ones that are horrible. And here's why. You flip it over and the other side. You got the six point. Let's get a close-up of that. If we can get it in there for you. Let's see how this fits. Being a six point, it's going to fit like a glove. Very, very tight. Nice. Why I like that type of wrench is because you only need one wrench to do the one to do the one job. You only need one wrench. You break it loose with a six-point box. You flip it over and you, and you uh, finish taking it out. You ain't grabbing two different sizes. You ain't grabbing two different wrenches. And you live in a salt belt. That is your best friend. A six-point box. I love that concept in general. But that's just me. You might agree. You might not agree. Okay. Let's take a ten on the in here. Get a little close-up of this. If I can for you. ID markings are very, very stamped. Very nice. Very nice. Check it out. Let's go to the 10 here in the side here. I can't believe it's Christmas. Very tight. Very tight. Very, very tight. Back drag. Smooth. Tecton did a good job with, it, with these. The, the back drag is very, very nice. Hardly any at all. I mean, with a long wrench like this, you don't want you don't want a lot of back drag. You're going to be in a, a tight area. Usually, we're way up reaching for something, so that's important. I think you know. Let's put it on a fastener. Pretty snug, pretty smooth. No binding, no skipping. If you can hear it. Flip it over. They fit the fastener very well. Yes, they are 12-point box. Both sets are 12-point box. 
Let's see if we get our close up of that for you. There's a nice shot of it. Yeah, these are pretty smooth. I want to show one more thing here. You know, these got these got these go all the way down to uh, six and seven. You don't see that a lot of sets, but you know, to be honest with you, I never had I never used these sizes in a ratchet wrench that much. That's just me personally. You know, I think we start getting too small like that. I don't know. Because usually they're going to be in a real tight area. You're going to have a small fashioner like that. They're in a small area. So I don't know how much I would use that size. Usually it's 10, 17, and 19, sometimes 15 that I use a lot. But I just, just my thoughts on it. But look how, look how uh, that's almost like it's cute looking. Look how small it is. <laughs> that is small. It just looks weird because I haven't really, I don't have any sets that go down to six. I just thought I'd throw that in here because it's interesting to go down that low. So my overall thoughts. Well, I've had the uh, Craftsman for four or five months. I had a Tekken for a month. I personally like the Craftsman's a little better because of the concept with the six-point box on one side, and you flip it over and finish bringing it out with the ratchet side. But they have skips, and skips are going to hurt it, and uh, it's going to be a deal-breaker for a lot of you guys, and I understand that. The Tekken ones are very nice. I think if you bought them, you're going to like them as well. Uh, I haven't used them a lot yet, so I can't really, you know, give a 100% answer on it. But I would, as we speak right now, I like the Craftsman's a little better because of that concept of the six-point box on one side. Tekken ones are very nice. Either set, either set would be good. Uh, it's going to come down to preference. You know, I just like it when I can grab one wrench to do a job instead of having two wrenches in my pocket. But the skips kill it for a lot of you guys. Okay, guys, look comment below. I always get back to you. Have a Merry Christmas and... Uh, Take care.